today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig. This wig was sent to me from Neat and Sleek. I'll have all of their information, promo codes, and direct links to the wig that I am wearing in this video down below in the description box. The name of the wig that I was sent is Judy. Judy is a full lace wig that has been hand braided using 100% premium synthetic Kanekalon hair. The knots on this wig have been fully bleached. The hairline has been plucked for the most natural illusion of hair coming directly from your scalp. So Judy comes with three combs, an adjustable elastic band, sparse baby hairs. I ordered this wig in a size medium. The length of this wig is waist length and the color is a color number 1B. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to grab Judy and place her on top of my mannequin head. Then I'm gonna grab some T-pins and stick the T-pins into the extra lace just to make sure that she's secure. The next thing that I'm going to do is remove this anchor cornrow surrounding the hairline because that's where the baby hairs are and I wanna make sure that the baby hairs look as natural as possible. So I'm gonna to have to pluck away some of those hairs. Of course, you can always skip this step. Baby hairs are not a requirement to wearing a wig. I am going for baby hairs on this unit, but if you choose not to wear baby hairs, all you have to do is cut behind the hair that they left for you and follow the natural shape of the wig. Okay, so let's get into thinning out this hairline. I'm gonna grab my tweezers and I'm going to take my time just thinning it out as much as possible because I want to have really, really, really sparse baby hairs so that they can look as natural as humanly possible. So I'm gonna spend my time doing that. And when I'm done, I'm gonna grab my razor blade and cut the baby hairs shorter. Okay, so now I'm grabbing the wig and I am going to adjust the elastic band for a more secure custom fit. So now I'm gonna put on the elastic band and then I am going to position the wig to where I want it to be, making sure that the sides of the wig are lined up with my ears just to make sure that the wig is fitting my head completely and completely in place. Okay, so now it's time to install. I'll be grabbing the Got To Be Freeze Can Spray as well as the Got To Be In The Black Tube. So first I'm gonna grab the Got To Be In That Black Tube and I am going to apply this to my hairline directly on my hairline, of course, because this is gel. And then I am going to blow dry it with my blow dryer just to make it tacky. I'm gonna do that twice. And then I'm going to pull the wig forwards. After I pull the wig forward, I am going to use my fingers to make sure that the lace is touching that tacky gel, you know, just so that it can form a bond. And then after that, I'm gonna grab the free spray and I am going to spray on top of the lace. And once I put my headscarf on, that's going to stick everything together pretty much. So next I'm gonna grab some mousse and I am going to begin to map out that baby hair as well as add some mousse to the braids just to get them to mold into the shape that I'm looking for. After that, I am going to grab a styling strip and I am going to wrap the hair after I lay the baby hairs with that styling strip. I did use a little bit of edge control on the baby hairs as well just for a little more of a hold. 
And here is the finished look. I think Miss Judy came out looking so, so, so natural. Like it's crazy how natural this wig looks. I did wear it to the grocery store. I got a few compliments on it. People were like, where'd you get your hair braided? I'm like, it's a wig, it's not my hair. But that's how natural this wig looks. You can part this wig anywhere on the wig cap and you can come up with so many different hairstyles. So I am gonna show you the hairstyles that I came up with. Um, and I want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section which one you prefer I'll have all of the information and the direct link to Miss Judy down below in the description box So do not forget to look down below for more information as always. I thank you so much for watching Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys